but I kept crying and crying, but then I didn't even know he was doing drugs. <laughs> Hi guys, it's your girl Portia on the journey back with another Like That video. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am today because I'm bringing on my son to tell his side of what life was like while mommy was addicted to drugs. Now I know some people may think that that's a little bit drastic, but guess what? My son is the one who suffered the most and it's only right that he tell his side and that we give you guys an idea that are addicts what it is that your loved ones are going through. So, I'm going to disappear real quick. Before I do, if you've made it this far, please go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these videos. Click the bell to make sure you're receiving notifications whenever I upload. And I'll be right back. As promised, you guys, I'm back with my son, Jojo. Okay, so me and Josiah, we decided to talk briefly right before filming the video to get together some questions that I wanted to ask him and he wanted to ask me. So, do you mind if I start? It's okay. It's okay. Look at me when you're talking to me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay? All right, so I'm going to ask my first question to Jojo. Jojo, I want to know, how has life changed now that mommy is no longer addicted to drugs for you? Like, how has it changed for you? Is it better? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's good. Really good, right? Mm -hmm. Really good. Well, why has it changed for the better for you? Because if you kept doing drugs, you could die. Yeah, that is a big one. By the way, you guys, we did not go over the answers. We only discussed the questions because I wanted to make sure that whatever we talked about, he was comfortable about it. So, yeah, that... That I could have died, that is absolutely true. So many people, my friends, my family members that have left due to drug addiction. So you're absolutely right about that. Any other reasons why you feel like life is better now that mommy has no addictions anymore? You could just be here with me. I'd be here with you all the time? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. A lot of the times I was away and... I just didn't, I, I was embarrassed. I didn't spend time with him as much as I do now. Now I'm like here every single day for school, for homework, for whatever, like whatever. So I appreciate you keeping it real with mommy because I always teach you to keep it real. Let me ask you one more question before you start asking me questions, okay? Okay. What are some of the things that you went through? I guess we started answering that already, but what are some of the things that you went through? But I kept crying and crying, but then I didn't even know he was doing drugs. Yeah. I had to, had to go through my nanny. Yeah, you had to. My mom. My mom took care of JoJo, you guys that don't know. My mom took care of JoJo, which he calls her nanny. And she filled that spot for me. And like he said, he had no idea why I wasn't there or what I was doing. But like he said, you had to do a lot of crying. Mm-hmm. What else did you have to go through, Josiah? Because when I wanted to play, go to the playground and all that fun stuff, but you were sick, but you still did some stuff for me. Yeah, I did. I tried my best to do some things with you. And look at this. This is unconditional love, you guys. My baby boy loves me. He's making excuses for me right now. It's funny. Yeah, I still did some things, but for the most part, he would wake up in the morning, he'd be like, Mommy, I'm hungry, or I want to go play, or this, that, and the third. Natural things that a parent should do for her child, and I was literally too sick to do it. Um, He didn't starve or go hungry. I had family members that helped out, and then sometimes I would do it myself, no matter how sick I was, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is some of the stuff that we went, that he went through with me going through my drug addiction so let's get down to the questions that you have to ask me and what i want to ask you is how did you stop how did i stop good question well i think we talked about this one time before but i'll let everybody else know that you want a reminder 
I was able to stop because for one, I made a very huge and serious decision to stop. From there, I went to a um, treatment center where I was able to get medicine to help me with my withdrawals, my sicknesses. Remember, mm -hmm. we talked about with, what withdrawals were. Mm -hmm. So I got medicine to help me with my sickness and I had my family support. I talked to you guys here on YouTube. There's plenty of things that I did to stop. Um, but those are the main things. So any other questions? I believe there's one more that we have time for. Okay, mommy, now I want to know why did you stop? Why did I stop? You, you're the main reason that I stopped. You, you happen to be the current reason that I exist. You're my motivation. Look at this. Look at this. You're making faces. You're the main and, and the main reason that I wanted to stop. I was going to say only, but I have other people like Papa and Nana, um, my biological father that I'm now, you know, having a relationship with. Other people in my family, like my baby is the main reason that I stopped because I realized that my life was headed for destruction. And just like you said earlier, I could die if I continue to do this. Like, that's what I had to keep telling myself in my mind. If you don't stop, Portia, you're going to die and your baby is not going to have a mother. And, you know, that's already happened around me a lot. And, it, and it's just like I can't. I can't go on doing this. Um, the reason for this video today is to let you guys know that our addicts, that, yeah, your families, your children, your loved ones are suffering and they want better for you. They want to see you doing so much better. And um, this is a, an example. I'm not coaching him. I'm not telling you what to say, right? Mm -hmm. This is all how my baby boy feels. So he wants to hug. So again, I just wanted to get on here and express that kids young and old, I do want to say young and old are suffering. They're going through something while you're out addicted to drugs. So, you know, it's a really good idea to take that first step. And yeah, you may fail. I failed so many times when I tried to quit using drugs and I just had to really make my mind up and really do whatever was necessary. Um, so there you have it, you guys. It's definitely, definitely worth it getting clean and sober from drug addiction. And also, before we close out the video, I do want to say to you, Jojo, thank you for loving me unconditionally, loving me when I was sick, loving me when I was well, loving me when you didn't even have reasons to love me. Like you were always there, my number one supporter. You have always been the most special thing that I've ever had in my life. So I just want to say thank you. And thank you for getting on here to help me let other people know that it's a brighter side to recovery. So thank you, baby. Y'all, he's been asking to get on the channel so, so much. Like, I talk to Baby Boy about all my visions for videos and this is like my number one supporter you guys and yeah i had to be honest with him about what i was going through so i'm just glad that you guys got a chance to meet my son and hear his side of things so i hope you guys like this video i hope that you guys were able to learn something from this video i also want you guys to leave in the comment section what you felt about what my son had to say about my life with addiction right there in the comment section just tell me what you think and you guys remember i'm on a journey y'all you can you can be too <laughs> so let's get started you can't uh, no you're done <laughs> bye guys adios